So Naomi and Chris, thank you so much for agreeing to be interviewed for the Diversity and Inclusion Department's newsletter. Will you please introduce yourselves and describe your career paths and practice areas at Miller Nash? Sure. Should I go start? right ahead? Okay. Um, I uh, I'm Naomi Hazlitt. Uh, I um, currently am in the um, uh, firm's employment and education practice areas. Um, I started at Miller Nash as a summer clerk uh, as uh, a 1L and uh, clerked here both my 1L year and my 2L year. I think Naomi was one of our first 1Ls too and she demanded to come back and we were happy to have her. <laughs> Good choice. I, 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 w I was happy to come back and I actually um, uh, was very excited once I had clerked for just even the first summer at Miller Nash, I felt like it was really the place that I wanted to be. Um, so I uh, came back for a second summer uh, and hoped to get an offer for as an associate and did. So I've been here um, since then. I started as a, as a 1L associate and I've been here for I think almost seven years now as, uh, as an associate and now partner. And what's your practice area? I work in education, uh, which is, we represent a number of higher education institutions um, and uh, school districts, uh, both uh, uh, in the higher ed, public and private, and school districts, and then also employment law. So I represent employers doing um, advising work and litigation. Well, thank you, and congratulations on making partner. Oh, well, thank you. Chris? I've been here longer than Naomi. Uh, I started in 1973 for the firm. I was a student at Lewis and Clark in the night program and I started here as a law clerk for the firm and got a job after I graduated and started as a lawyer here in 1974. So I've been here a long time. And I became partner, I don't know whether it was six years or seven years, somewhere around in there. My practice area has really changed over the time that I've been here. I started out in litigation and I still do a lot of litigation. but. I went back to school and got my master's in international law about 15 years ago, and so most of my practice now is international dispute resolution or international business of some sort. Oh, that's exciting. So were you one of the first women partners here at Miller Nash? I was the first woman here at Miller Nash. There, was, there were actually women before me, but I was the first woman, let me say, in the sort of wave of the 70s when there were a lot of women that started to go to law school and um, when women really got into the practice. There had been some women here earlier, but it had been a while before. So I was um, the only woman associate for a while and then became the first woman partner. Congratulations, Chris. You were a real pioneer, a real pioneer. I feel like I ought to be wearing a bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in January 2014, the Portland Business Journal published an article highlighting Miller Nash's historic election of seven female partners to the firm. Uh, and I'm still wondering whether that was a first in the state and maybe in the nation, but maybe we won't know. But in, in, in any event, it was a tremendous uh, milestone in our legal profession, and uh, you are to be commended for that, so congratulations. In addition to the gender diversity featured in the article, what other aspects of diversity are represented among the women um, who are the new partners? Naomi, you want to take that one? Sure. Um, well, I guess first, one of the first things that comes to my mind is um, many of the women, I think four out of the seven are uh, parents, m mothers of... Five. Five, five, <laughs> are uh, mothers of uh, school-age children um, and toddlers, so that's... An, uh, uh, maybe a, a new phenomenon, and I think it's an important um, thing to recognize because uh, it shows that, I guess, women can have it all. Uh, and so that's something that I think is significant. Um, we have you know, a diverse background in our practice areas. Um, I think that's one of the things that um, is, has really stood out for me with, with the women that I work with. They're all wonderful people. Um, but they are also excellent attorneys in the areas that they work in, and it goes from IP to you know, my specialty employment, um, construction, uh, other litigation, bankruptcy. Uh, so we have a, a great breadth in that, and then in our backgrounds as well. Um, I think we all come from different places and um, you know, with different uh, experiences growing up, and I think it creates a really um, 
great perspective uh, on by each of the women, and um, and it's appreciated. I was so surprised to hear that so many of the women had children, and um, a couple of them were pregnant at the time the article was was written. Uh, and uh, you know, it's something that I think women have struggled with a long for a long time in firms and their practices having work life balance. So it seems that something's happening here at Miller Nash that that's making that possible. So that's a really positive positive development. You know what? I have an interesting story to tell about that day when uh, everyone was made partner. I got on the elevator with some of my male partners right after the partnership meeting was finished and we had made the vote and I looked at them and said, isn't that great that we made our entire class is women? And there were three of them there and they all looked at me and they went, really? Which you may wonder, is that good or bad? But I thought it was great because they didn't even notice. Women have come so far that they didn't realize that everybody in the class was a woman. Mm -hmm. And that's a long way, Chris, from you being the first woman. So it's, a, it's an amazing milestone. They did notice then. You're right. Now, and, and I understand, Naomi, you, you are the first African-American partner at Miller Nash as well. Is that correct? I, I believe so, yes. African-American African woman, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. African-American African woman. woman, yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Any, uh, anything else that you'd like to comment about in terms of the diversity of your firm, the women in the partnership ranks, or anything else at all that you'd like to say? One of the things I think that is important uh, that, that we've noted in this progression of both our women attorneys, uh, but also our um, diverse attorneys, our other diverse attorneys, is that it's really starting from um, an associate and then moving and moving forward. And so I feel like we're making some progress in moving past just the associate stage and, and re retaining and moving people forward into partnerships. So I think that's important too, both on the, you know, for females and our other uh, minority attorneys as well. So there's something about the culture and I'd love for you to comment about the culture of your firm and what it is about the culture and what it takes to create an environment that, that fosters the the recruitment, the retention, and the promotion of diverse people in your firm? I thought of a couple of things, and I think one of them is is that um, women get really good work at the firm. If you aren't given the opportunity to get good work and do good work, you're not going to be happy here, and you're not going to enjoy yourself as a lawyer. And I feel from the beginning that I was always given as many opportunities for good work as the men were. And Naomi has been a star in the employment area, and people gave her work early on that was very interesting work. She had trials earlier than a lot of people have trials, and uh, I think the fact that people do do that here at the firm is one of the reasons why women have stayed and have enjoyed it. And the other thing is, is that I think that the women and the men here are friends. When I look back at when I started, I had a number of men friends. I didn't have an opportunity to have women in the firm friends because there weren't any that were lawyers. Um, but I mean, a lot of my male partners are very close friends of mine. They're people that I would go out with, people that I have dinner with. And I think that people feel that way. And gender doesn't make a difference in that case. And I think that's important. Yeah, I would agree with Chris and you know, also note that I think that the firm is also uh, made it a priority, uh, particularly in the um, promotion through its diversity committee and its um, support of diversity events uh, around Portland and has, has really made a, prior, a priority to both support um, that and also um, create an environment within the firm that is supportive and provides mentorship and um, uh, colleagues that, uh, that are facilitating more um, diversity. So I think I feel like it's something that once the ball gets rolling, it kind of continues, and that's that's starting to happen. Where you, you've created a an almost a, a critical mass where you have a support network um, within the firm as well. And I think we've had the seeds of that from the very beginning. In getting ready for the interview, I thought about some of my own experiences in the firm. And when I was still um, a law clerk working for the firm, I was working in litigation. And one day, one of the, uh, well, actually, he was the first year associate, came in and said, I want you to know that um, our litigation group has been meeting at the Arlington Club, which at the time did not allow women. 
and he said, I, I want you to know that I had told our head of litigation that this meant that when you became an associate that you wouldn't be able to go, so we needed to find a new place to have lunch, and the firm did that. But the fact that a first-year associate made that statement 40 years ago is a big deal, and he was our last managing partner before the current managing partner that we now have. So I think the seeds of that have been in the firm for a very long time. Well, it's very exciting to see, and I would just say keep up the great work. I think you're, you're role models for the, the legal community, and we look forward to seeing what, what you do next. Wow, what are you going to do next? <laughs> I'm going to go to trial. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome. Thanks.